Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to discuss another set of Databricks interview question and this is part 6 in the play series that I have. And also, in case you are new to my channel, do remember to like, share and subscribe. So, uh, let's move ahead. The very first question that we have for today is, what is the difference between wide and a narrow transformation? Now, this is also a very important question because Databricks is nothing but a UI for Spark, right? So, by default, all the Spark interview questions, by default, they come inside the Databricks as well, right? So, always, whenever you're trying to interview for Databricks, you have to be very thorough with the Spark because Databricks is nothing but you know it's just a uh, you know tool where you can actually run spark right an optimized version of spark okay so coming on to this question what is the difference between narrow and a wide transformation so when we talk about a narrow transformations right so we have transformations in our etl jobs right so these are the same transformations that we are talking about you have your join you have your select you have your filter you have your union right now these are divided into two categories one is called your narrow dependencies or the narrow transformations the others are called wide dependencies or the wide transformation now if you have been watching all my videos on the databricks we already know what a partition is so in spark your data is actually stored within the partition now in case of narrow dependencies right or in case of narrow transformation what happens is whenever you are trying to you know apply a particular transformation and it gets applied to all the records in a single partition without needing to get the data from another set of partition now in that case a transformation is called a narrow transformation right so i'll try to reiterate so when i'm saying select or when i'm trying to do a filter when i'm trying to do a union now these are the example of narrow transformation how they are example they are example because if i have you know let's say i have a file now i divide that file into 10 different partition right i can when i say select star from this right what happens is now each of those 10 partition can do a select star we can do select star on each of those partition and they will not need the data from the other partitions while computing the value of select star right they will not need other partitions similarly in case of filter now if i have 10 partitions right now i can simply go ahead apply a filter and each partition will the the output of uh, my filter right while computing the output of my filter internally spark will not need input from all the uh, you know multiple partitions to be brought together and then computed right it's not needed so usually a transformation is actually called a narrow transformation where each input partition will contribute to only one output partition also a narrow transformation is the one where all the elements are required to compute the records are in the single partition you don't have to uh, you know go and look into the other partition to compute the value so these are called your narrow transformations now coming on to the wide transformations or wide dependencies here what happens is to compute a output value now when you apply such kind of transformation to compute an output value you will actually need the data from the other partition as well so for example in case of joins now if joins are no, not co-partitioned then what happens is uh, you know joins will take the data from the multiple partitions and then give you the result right they are not you know one to one map between the partitions so those are called your wide transformation similarly group by so when i say group by right then this group by actually needs the data from all of my 10 partitions of the file that i have that is why they are called wide transformation now internally you know what is the significance of wide transformation when uh, you know my transformation is trying to compute the value from all the different partitions right it is actually going and taking the values from all the partitions and it is involving a shuffle we are going to talk about shuffle shuffle essentially means that while computing the value it is going and it is taking the data from the other partitions and there is a data movement across right now since there is a data movement across it is going to slow down right so these are this is the actually basics behind your wide transformation if you have been following my you know the basics of spark and the databricks series so these things would have been very clear to you already right 
now since this is an interview question i will not go you know very in depth regarding this but yes i have given you a kind of overview on this question so basically a white transformation when all the elements that are required to compute the records you know may live in multiple partitions right so those are called your white transformation and white transformations always involve a network shuffle because they are taking the data from the multiple partitions so there will be a movement of data across right so these are called your white transformations so now the second question that might come across to you in an interview is why do we have shuffle right because definitely during the interview process there will be a word being used shuffle by you or by the interviewer now in that case you know someone can directly to know to understand how much basics you know they can directly ask you okay what is shuffle now when i say what is shuffle and you know how the shuffle happen what causes shuffle so you should be able to you should be in the position to answer it now just you know in the previous question i have talked about a shuffle already right so you should already have an idea now what is shuffle right now shuffle essentially happens right when you are trying to move the data between partitions now out of my file i have 10 partitions created from my file and whenever i am trying to do any etl operations or any transformation on top of it and it is making the data move between the different partitions then that is called your shuffle right so basically whenever your transformation requires information from other partitions right such as group by or such as you know uh, non copartitioned uh, you know your joins in that case shuffle is bound to happen because it is actually asking asking the data from multiple partitions so that is why your shuffle is happening and it is nothing but the data movement so usually during shuffle what happens is you know whatever uh, data is required from each and every partition that partition uh, data is actually taken and it is combined into a new partition so that is the whole process of shuffle and during shuffle usually disk writes happen you know disk writes whenever we talk about the uh, you know in the memory uh, you know uh, in memory and off memory right so usually whenever shuffle happens there is uh, a disk write as well so i think uh, you know you got the answer even to this question now we will move forward for the third question which is what is the difference between sort by and order by now these are all basic questions which actually shows how much understanding you have of spark right now similarly there is an uh, question which is very commonly asked like what is the difference between sort by and order by you know what does these two mean essentially right because now you just think you know whenever you would be working on spark or in the data breaks or you know in a core spark environment so essentially you can say that you have a data frame and you can sort that data frame on a particular column and it is going to sort right similarly when you say order by then also you are going to get a sorted output right in the ascending or descending order but is there any difference between the two if yes then what is the difference right if you already know the difference do write in the comment section pause this video and write in the comment section and then unpause the video and see how right you were right okay so we'll move forward now coming on to the sort by and order by right so this is very clear that the sort by and order by they are built in function whenever you have to sort anything on the data frame in ascending or descending order you can do it you can use one column to sort or you can use multiple columns to sort sort right now coming on to the sort part right essentially sort method will sort your records in each partition and what essentially will happen here is so let's say i have a file where my file is divided into 10 partitions i'm just giving you an example right a random a, a, a just a random a thought process you know how you can think about it now let's say i have 10 partitions now what sort will do it will go ahead and sort each of those 10 partitions only and then it will give it in the output and it will give the output now in the output the final output is not guaranteed to be the ordered one because it is not sorting your final output it is actually sorting only the data which is there in the partition it is not sorting your final output i'll uh, even show you this right now in databricks itself right 
so basically data is partition level ordered in case of sort the data is sorted on partition level each of the 10 partitions will be sorted right and then you will get the output and output is not uh, you know bound to be sorted that is the case of sort but when you talk about order by what happens in order by is your data is collected into a executor or uh, you know uh, it is actually the final output that you get is the sorted one right it is not going to you know sort the data just in the partitions no it is actually going to sort your whole output itself now when it is trying to sort your whole output what it is trying to do it is trying to take the data from each and every partition it is trying to take the data from each and every partition and then understand the sorting pattern and sort it out now in this case in the order by case there is a shuffle involved now there, if there is a shuffle involved then automatically what happens is your execution time will increase now when your execution time will increase automatically it will be less efficient as well order by will be less efficient than the sort but order by order by will be more accurate right so now let me just go to the data breaks and i'll let me show you so for example this is the data frame let me just attach this cluster so for example this is a data frame that we are creating over here now in this data frame what we are trying to do we just have few columns first name last name department country and the salary now what i do now let me just do df.show so that we actually see what is there in the data frame like what we have created now if you see while that is running okay it has already run so you have these columns right first name last name department country and salary you have this right now if you want to sort what you will do you will do data frame dot sort country comma salary so basically you are sorting it on country and you are sorting it on salary right now if you are going to do that what will happen it is going to sort and you will get a sorted uh, you you'll actually got, get a sorted uh, output which you actually got as well right now similarly if you want to do an order by this is how you actually do a order by as well on these two column now in this case you are going to get the same output right why because the data is very small it is within the same partition now all these five columns for me they are in the same partition now when they are in the same partition remember that when they are in the same partition output will be same because what sort is doing sort is actually sorting whatever is whatever it has in the partition now you have all these five columns in the partition and it is going to partition it is going to sort it now order by what it is doing it is also sorting but it is not sorting at the partition level it is taking all the data from a partition and then in the executor it is trying to sort it now in case i have let's say uh, you know the first two columns let's say uh, you know uh, let's say i have these uh, these two columns this uh, fourth column uh, the fourth row and the first row in one partition and then i have second third and fifth row in another partition then what will happen it is going to sort michael type right it is going to sort it like this you will have first this salary then you will have this salary and then from the second partition it will have this salary this salary and this salary so that is how it is actually going to sort it right so if you understand it now clearly what sort will do sort will actually partition everything uh, sort will actually uh, order everything within the partition but order by will actually take the data from all the partitions and then sort it so in the sort you are not guaranteed whether your output will always be correct it will always be sorted right in case your partitions are well sorted then in that case it's fine otherwise your output will not is not guaranteed to be sorted in the sort but in order by your output is guaranteed to be sorted but at the same time what happens is uh, order by is actually a costlier operation because it is going to take the data from all the partitions so it is going to do a shuffle right so you need to understand that and you should also understand when to use what right so whenever you know uh, you have not so critical um, you know uh, uh, for example ordering is not that important to you 
right you just want to you know do the things as fast as possible or it doesn't matter much now in that case sort is fine because sort is not going to do any kind of shuffle right so it is directly going to uh, sort whatever is present in in the partition and you know it is going to give you the result faster but in case of order by what happens is it is going to do a shuffle now it is going to do a shuffle it is going to take more time right now in case order is important to you then in that case you go for order by right so this is essentially the difference between you know your order by and sort so i hope you like this video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for being till here